day is town day and I'm heading into Grants. I'm not even sure how much hitching I have to do for the rest of trail. I think we just walk right through town, most of them. Guess I've been doing it wrong. There's a correctional facility on the road, so people should not pick up people walking on the road like me. out there. I forgot how hot concrete can get in the sun. This is my walking snack from the grocery store to the library. Yeah, yeah. The library was closed, but I had a really nice time at the cafe that was attached to it. And now I'm hustling because the rain is coming and I want to get to my next place before it hits. I'm heading out of town now, and the nice thing about towns that you can walk through, like Grants, is that you don't have to wait for a hitch so you can control your own time, but often that also means long stretches of highway walking in and out. I passed some barking dogs that were loose, but they didn't come any... That one sounds a little bit louder. So I sometimes pull up my phone to check behind me so that I don't have to look them in the eye because that's a sign of aggression. Anyways, I was checking behind me to make sure that they weren't following, but those were very restrained dogs. They did good. So coming out of Grants, I had a big route decision to make. The trail, the red line, basically does a huge S and there's alternates that cut the S. Which basically means there's four possible ways to go, but I wanted to see the lava and I wanted to see the chain of craters. Um, so that means I'm on the red line, the longest route, and right now about 22 miles of paved highway walking. It's still early morning hours, kind of. So the temperatures are really nice for now, but I think this road is gonna get really hot. I think I see it. Is that my stop? Ooh. It's beautiful. I had a real hard time convincing myself to leave Subway and start hiking. It's like the um, the Korean dramas where Subway sandwiches literally save lives. And you laugh because that's so stupid. But a long, hot, 22-mile highway walk, and right in the middle of it is an air-conditioned Subway. 
with cookies and electric outlets and unlimited root beer. It's a powerful thing. Oh, and I really needed to charge my devices because the place I stayed last night, super cool. It's an off-grid hostel run on solar power. So um, there's basically no power at night to charge things overnight. I stepped off the road to give the cars a little more space. That was a mistake. Okay, this plant, this is my new least favorite plant of all time. These burrs are nasty. Even after I would pick them off, I had to do it one by one because they don't just fall off your hand when you pick them off. They're now stuck to your finger. You have to like shake them off. And they're sneaky. They look like normal grass from afar. So I didn't think anything of it when I was walking off the side of the road. Look at this nice, normal grass. No, no, it's not nice. No, it's not normal. It's a burr. Can't focus on it. Even, they even avoid my camera, they're so sneaky. There, sharp. The cloud pattern is interesting. Um, yeah, starting about here, it's just a line of clouds following that same path. And there's like another line going that way. But I don't know why it does that. So hiking in rain can definitely be frustrating, but I, I never truly complain about it because look at that. That's amazing. Believe me, sign. I do. Every day. First they look like that, and then they open up like that, and then the leaves die off. This is the ranger station for El Malpai National something? It's a park? It's a forest? Wilderness? I don't know. It's closed right now, but it's got everything that I need. Got here just in time, it's starting to rain. It's hailing! Like a lot! <laughs> I'm under the picnic table with this as my windbreak because it's coming through even under the roof. It started coming down so fast that all my, <laughs> all my food got a little soaked. It's all packaged though. I think the oatmeal ones are still okay. I keep forgetting to throw out my Meow Wolf glasses, which have been in my jacket pocket for almost a week now. But I have a trash can so I can finally get rid of them. After more than two hours and several more bouts of hail, I'm finally leaving the visitor center. I may be getting to camp a little late tonight and my pack is so heavy right now. I filled up 2.7 liters, which is my maximum normal carry because I have a 20 mile water carry. The lava flow has been to my right. I just haven't fully entered it. And then to my left, I think sandstone cliffs. And that's the end of my highway walk. Into the lava. Right, I'm 20 seconds into the lava and I already got lost. I didn't expect the cairn to be up here. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't do this in the dark.
I'm up here just kind of casting around for a tent site. But most of the ground cover is like this. Not so bad. It's all dirt, a little bit lumpy with the grass. Not a good spot in terms of drainage uh, if I should get a storm tonight. And while I'm setting my tent up, I have my Garmin send my preset so everyone knows that I'm alive today. Sometimes it takes 10 seconds, sometimes it takes 20 minutes, but today was super quick.